So I found a dupe, a hair dupe. Lord have mercy. You know, we never le leave our pick. Natural girls, we never leave our pick. Hi, beauties and curls. Welcome back for another video. I'm so excited because you are here, first of all. My name is Melissa Q. If you are new and if you're an OG, you know I love you guys coming back over and over again. If you could do me a favor, the question of the day is what is your favorite drugstore leave in conditioner and what is your favorite leave in that's from Sephora or Ulta that's that's pricey, you know what I mean? And comment and let me know why those are your favorites. But we have a dupes video today. So the question that I got was, girl, I need a inexpensive leave-in conditioner that's gonna give me high quality because girl, this is expenses, okay? Let me know, comment down below, let me know if you guys love hair dupes or something that's similar or alternative. If you would love videos like that definitely comment down below and let me know because i would love to bring those type of videos to you guys because i found a dupe from a high end to a lower end as, as soon as i put this in my hair it, it immediately made me think of a drugstore product that was similar and i want to say similar because i'm going to talk about ingredients and we're going to talk about some differences and some similarities yeah so I did get the question in the review and I'll link it over here just so you guys know about the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence. I did get the question. Girl, this is expensive and my hair needs a lower end. The point is talking and you know, I need some dollar dollar bills y'all to go a little bit on the lower pricey side. Something that I could probably get at the drugstore and I immediately, when I was putting this on, it reminded me of a drugstore dupe that I also did a review on, you guys. And I will link it over here for you guys to check it out. It was the Garnier Hoblands Replenishing Leave-In Conditioner. So to the left is the Garnier Hoblands and to the right, it is the Diva Curl. And even in the consistencies, they're not runny but they are super moisturizing and they're both lightweight. So you can tell that the, even the look of them are, is very similar. This is a way, way, way less expensive as, than this one. I think you could probably get four bottles for this one. Three to four bottles of this one. Don't quote me. This does have 10.2 ounces and this has eight ounces that's the first that's the first difference you guys you get 2.2 ounces of product more in this bottle than you do in this one so, so that's the big one i love the spout i love the the pump so i i love the spouts you know these are both good both of these are super lightweight and both of them are very very hydrating now in the diva curl leave-in decadence you are going to get a higher concentration of coconut oil and in this one you are going to get a higher concentration of olive oil this one it claims legendary olive and it has olive leaf extracts version pressed olive oil so if you are coconut hair sensitive you can definitely get this one instead of this one I do love both of these I would repurchase both of these I will say that I feel like that this one is a tad bit more hydrating but my hair loves coconut oil and it penetrates the hair shaft you know that my hair just thrives and it loves coconut oil this may be a little bit different for you you might like the olive oil just because this one may make your hair a little bit harder it is coconut oil is or the coconut extract is higher on the list on this one and olive oil on this one both of these are silicone free however this one is not cruelty free garnier is not cruelty free both of these are paraben free but this one is sulfate paraben and silicone free this one is paraben free it is also silicone free so you get do get both of these are silicone free which is super super awesome however 
The Diva Curl Decadence is cruelty free, but the Garnier Hope Lens is not. Is it not? It does not have the signal on here. It has the TerraCycle, but it does not have the cruelty-free, which I would assume that it's not cruelty-free. So those are big things here in the beauty industry if you want a cruelty-free product. If you want cruelty-free, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more and get this one. But I can say this one's a tad bit more hydrating. But then again, my hair loves coconut oil over olive oil, although my hair really did like this one as well. So I just wanted to come give you a few differences and also give you a dupe in terms of it being lightweight, it being paraben free, being silicone free, it being this one you do get more product and if you are low porosity or you are protein sensitive you might like the olive oil a little bit more. So I did want to bring those two to you and I will leave all the information down below on both of these products and the prices. There are some comparisons and some differences so I just to come with that and I thought this was super cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you hadn't already smash the subscribe button and don't forget to leave your notifications on so you can know when I am posting videos and I do post every Monday Wednesday or Friday love you guys I'll talk to you soon peace